Lockdown Reviews Intech MT5050 PMR446 Handheld by Paul, Mike Zero Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR446. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul, Mike Zero Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR446. And it's the last of my handheld subject to the lockdown reviews today which will be this one. This is the Intec MT5050 PMR446 radio. Uh, it's another one I don't think you can get anymore, but you might find these floating around eBay if you're lucky. Um, so, it's very very basic controls on it. You've got your on-off on volume, fixed antenna in line with PMR446 specifications. Though Intec did do a kit that you could take that off and put in an SMA connector and and an SMA fitting an antenna, which looked a bit like one of those uh, questionable Nagoyas, so, you know. But that would have then put the radio outside of PMR446 specifications, as would a modification that these radios can have done to them to, to produce up to 4 watts. So, if you want to do that, you, you can look that one up yourself. So... This one came with this belt clip and there's a lanyard on the belt clip. I don't know whether that came with the radio or not. And it takes five AA batteries. I don't know why it's five, but those are the batteries I've had in it for a while. Came with the batteries, but I, but, those, but I bought some extra batteries and I don't know where those batteries have gone. So those batteries have stayed in it. I'm not sure why it was five either. So, and on the side you've got, if I can get it out, there we are, uh, speaker mic connector. Now, the speaker mic for my Midland Basecamp 446 fits this and works perfectly fine with it. Oh, <laughs> and today is the day that I finally managed to break the cover. <laughs> right on film as well. Yeah, I think... Uh, it's because I've had this a good few years, it's obviously starting to get a bit... It's got charging contacts on the bottom because it was an optional charger. Well, or was or is, I'm not sure if you can still get that either, to be honest. Or drop-in charger for this and a uh, maroon band radio that was based in the same case. And had actually had the same display as well by the looks of it, the pictures I've seen of it. So... So, but normally to charge it, you'd plug the charger into the microphone socket as you would do on the Intec H520 Plus. But from what I can tell, I don't think the two chargers are compatible with with each radio. I think you've got to use a charger that comes with it, and that way you don't risk a damage your radio. Now, Intec did also do a desktop version of this, which obviously still being portable, still met their PMR446 specifications. That was the DRS5070. I have one of them as well, but it's over there on my shelf in bits because I think the finals have gone on it and, um, and I haven't really had a chance to have a look at that to find out what, what, uh, what transistor it is that I need to be putting in there. Um, so I'm going to have a look into that as, at some point because I just have this feeling that the finals have gone in it. Uh, and the only transistory looking thing I could find in there was a 7805 voltage regulator. So, just trying to find the actual final output transistors. Just hoping they're not tiny. So if they are, then I am a bit, you know. So, it would be nice to get that working again. Although that one could run from the mains on a more permanent basis, whereas this can't. So, and on that side you've got a sizable PTT button. So. Turn on the radio, it does beep. It's got a signal meter, high low power, it's in low power, signal meter there. It's in high, uh, high low power, it's in low power at the moment. The, when you press transmit, that will show the transmit transmitted power. Uh, it's got power save, uh, it's got a Roger bleep, it's got key tones, that sort of thing. It'll scan through the channels, or so you push to scan and and push to stop the scan, push and hold to lock the keypad, theoretically, 
There we go. And the same way again to unlock it. So that's ideal if you put it in your pocket. Uh, monitor drops the squelch. Press again, puts, takes the squelch out. Backlight on and off. I'm not sure you could be able to see that because the backlight on this like, like well actually it's backlight on, um, by the looks of it. Um, like the backlight on this, like on the on the H520 Plus is not that brilliant. Call tone, self-explanatory. It's what all PMR446 radios have. I'm not going to even bother because I don't know if there's anyone actually on this channel whether they'll pick it up or not. And uh, press the menu that allows you to change channel, change CTCSS, Vox on and off, power level low and high, squelch. In, in steps, so squelch off, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there was six, goes to six, couldn't remember how far it went, it's been a while since I played with that, because I normally keep it on the low thing. key beeps on or off, roger bleep on and off, go back to the key beeps there, so call tone, we can change the call tone, dual watch, on and off, power save on and off, Back to the channel. So what was the other one? Uh, that's just the normal key beeps. That's a Roger bleep. So and the battery indicator there to tell you how much charge is left. So that's really all there is for this radio. It's it's, it's quite simple to operate. It also covers a. Uh, Channels on LPD 433, so you've got some uh, some extra channels as well. Uh, they're at about 10 milliwatts, I believe, is the specification there, and it's 500 milliwatts for PMR 446. Unless you were to modify the radio, in which case it'd be four watts on everything. In which case you'd need to be a licensed amateur radio operator to use it. And uh, even then. 446 um, uh, 4 watts is still illegal unless you were to go to America, in which case it would be perfectly fine to use because the 446 megahertz is um, uh, part of um, uh, the 70 centimeters band in, in uni the United States and I believe Canada as well because it's part of the same ITU region. So it's a very simple radio, not a lot to it, and can be modified um, uh, out of specification at your own risk. Uh, so that modification can be found online. I think I may have covered it on my on my radio blog at some point. It just it's quite a simple procedure to do and is reversible, I believe. Although I've not actually tried that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this uh, on on the air on an audio test. For, from the location I've been using all this time, this will be the final time I'm going to be using it because this is the final lockdown review of the handhelds. Because after this, if the lockdown continues, which it probably will, I'll be looking to lockdown review my mobile sets and they'll be taking the place on the car antenna and the receiver will be somewhere close by, which also close by and secure in which I can receive the signal. So I'll come to I'll come cross that bridge when I come come to it, but for now, let's get this one out there and we can do an audio check on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Binatone Action 950 and see how the audio from this and the audio from that compares. So may as well because this was a more expensive radio and came as one radio. I think it was. I think these were close to a hundred pound. Uh, whereas the 950s were probably about thirty or forty quid for for a pack of two. So, see how a more expensive radio performs against the cheaper one. So, I'm going to go and get that all ready and set up, and, and hopefully, if I remember what I did with the SDR, which I think should be, well, if it's not in here, it'd be in the other room. Uh, then we should be able to get that done pretty sharpish. So, I'll catch you when I actually get out to the car. Right, so I'm back in the car. 
and I've got everything set up. Tablet's connected to the SDR, and uh, the antenna's connected to the SDR. So we're all good. The only thing I've got to do now is walk down the street, as before. And obviously set the screen recorder to actually record, because I wasn't doing that yet. So I'll catch you when I get to where the phone box used to be, as per the normal tests. Same place, different radio. So start with the Intec MT5050, I'll be using my CT call. 26 Charlie Tango 730, testing the Intec MT5050. 26 Charlie Tango 730. And again, 26 Charlie Tango 730, testing the Intec MT5050. Okay, it's done. See how it compares against a cheaper radio, which will be. If I can get it off. In the turn action 950, it's kind of got stuck to my belt. It's got this weird loop on the bottom of the belt clip. There we go. So, this one. So, see what happens. 26 Charlie Tango 730, testing the Binatone Action 950 against the Intec MT5050. Once more. 26 Charlie Tango 730, testing the Binatone Action 950 against the Intec MT5050. Right. And with that, back to the shack. Okay guys, I've come back from the quote unquote daily exercise, um, so can I conclude from that about the Intec MT5050? Um, the audio seems on par with most PMR446 radios as it turns out, even the cheap ones. So, well that bin in turn action 950 actually seems to have good audio but I noticed a uh, there's a slight discrepancy in frequency. So I think the cheaper radios aren't, aren't spot on frequency. But the only way I'm going to be able to confirm that is with a proper frequency counter, which I don't have. So, it's not particularly good ham if I don't have a frequency counter, am I? Ah, well, you know. That's something for a later date. So, it sounds alright. It can. can compete well with and work well with all of the really cheapy radios. Uh, don't have any more expensive PMR than that. Um, so, sound, but it sounds good, works good. And I'm pleased with it. I haven't used it in a while, but when I did use it, it, it never let me down until obviously until the batteries ran out. But it's a good radio, and I think the circuit in the DRS5070 is similar but on a different board. I don't actually know that for certain, although um, uh, it does have the same high power modification on it, so there is that. So it could well be the same circuit but on a different board layout. So, I... But unfortunately, because my DRS5070 is not functioning at the moment, I can't exactly um, lock down review that. So. And I don't actually have any batteries for it anyway, so there is that as well. Um, so, uh, it's another 5 out of 5 for me. I've, most of the radio gear I've got I've actually been impressed with so far. Uh, the only, there's only probably only one piece of radio equipment that I have that I'm not totally impressed with, but if I do lockdown review it, which could potentially happen if this lockdown goes on for any longer, then... I'll let you know, but if, but we'll see from there, really. Now, I do have another radio arriving some, at some point this week, a 
coronavirus uh, pending, obviously, because coronavirus has been delaying a lot of things. Um, once that gets here, that's going to be filmed and put onto, onto the channel. Uh, it comes with an antenna, quite an interesting antenna. I may have mentioned this already. And yeah, I'm not going to say too much about it right now because if I do, then what will happen is um, yeah, then you'll know what I've, what I've got, got coming in. But you might anyway. So I'll let, let you um, uh, wait and see for that one. So the Intec MT5050. Good all round uh, radio. It just doesn't come with a drop in charge. That's probably one of its uh, drawbacks, unlike most of the cheapy ones that do. The that the MT5050 doesn't come with a drop in charge. So you have to buy that separately. Uh, like I say, I'm not sure if you can get it brand new now, but you might find it on eBay, uh, either used or new old stock. Because uh, I haven't seen them for sale for a while. Um, at least I don't think I have, but I've not bought any PMR446 equipment recently, so so that, that's covered all the handhelds, so it's not the end of the lockdown reviews for as long as the lockdown goes on, just so you know guys. So this is probably going to be one of my shortest lockdown reviews I've done so far, to be honest. I mean, because there wasn't really much to do, because the radio didn't have a lot on it, and the um, uh, time it took for, for me to get down to where the phone box used to be and back, I managed to do it, and... And uh, it was a, and stopped the the um, uh, screen screen recorder after four minutes. So obviously you won't be seeing all four minutes of that because it'll be chopped down, as you'll have seen already. So I'm going to go and put that together for you, and that'll be me done for all the handhelds. So I'll be figuring out how to do the mobiles next. I think I might have a way figured out in mind. So. This is Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or as you heard today, 26 Charlie Tango 730, if you catch me on 11 metres, and a PMR 446. Enjoy your radio guys, stay safe, obviously watch for the virus, make sure, make sure you don't get it. Um, uh, obviously follow all the social, social distancing when you are out, uh, and at work, if you've got to go to work. and. To all our NHS staff out there that are on the front line battling this thing, once again, thank you for all your hard work. So, seven threes for now, guys, and enjoy the radio, and please, um, uh, please do stay safe. There's some tough times out there at the moment. So, I'll catch you on the, the next video. Seven three for now, guys. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of new videos as I upload them. 73 is from Paul, Mike, Zero Whiskey, November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 on 11 meters and PMR 446.